Hello Fruit followers. my name is Mr. M. Fretwell and welcome to just a little bit of a channel update. Um, I'm just going to be discussing some of the things that have been going on as regards my channel, notably what's going on as regards 1.6 being coming out now as well, um, and a map update, we're going to get to that, and a couple of other things. So I'm thinking of making this channel update a monthly thing, so once a month, probably at the end of the month, we will uh, just kind of talk about what's happened over the past month and what's going to be coming up over the next month. So this is an idea that I'm sure many people have done but personally I got this idea from a YouTuber that I know uh, known as Davy Cracker. Um, there will be a link to his channel in the description. Go check him out. He's a nice guy. Um, he's played my map so that's how I got to know him and he does some pretty cool stuff so I would highly recommend checking that out. So, into, in this month's channel update, I'm going to be focusing on the 1.6 release and what this means for my various different shows, uh, a map update, as I say, and I'm going to talk about my new PC situation. So, I guess the first thing to start out with, really, would be the tutorial series. So, 1.6 has come out, and I'm... I, as you may know, in the middle of the redstone stuff. So I'm going to finish off the redstone stuff first. I've got four episodes left on the redstone tutorial world that I've been using for the past couple of episodes. And then I've got a couple of things to do back here on the main tutorial world. Daylight sensor, hopper, a couple of other things like that. Then I'm going to get started on the 1.6 tutorials and also some other tutorials which I never really got around to. Um... As I said in the 1.6 update video, I will be doing tutorials on the launcher and on the uh, resource packs and all that stuff. I'm going to be going over exactly more in depth. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the new changes as regards um, potions and healing and all that stuff. I'm going to be spending some time talking to you guys about. Um, other than that, that's pretty much my plans for my tutorials. Um, I'm going to be doing those and then we'll probably look at some more specific 1.6 tutorials, stuff like horses, the clay, uh, tutorials like that. And uh, we've also got to do a few things that I never got around to, like fishing, witch huts, um, amongst many other things that we need to get around to. So that's my plans for the tutorials. My, my Let's Play is also moving along to 1.6. Um, many of you have seen episodes where I've been on 1.6. And I'm going to be working on my base. I have a lot of plans for that series. I'm really enjoying that one. But I'm trying to stop myself from recording it so that I don't get burned out. Because that's usually what happens to me. That series I am working a lot on tinkering with. Things like intros, outros and editing. I am fiddling around with. So your thoughts are most welcome on that most certainly. If you have any feedback on that please put it in the description of the relevant video. So there's not much more to say um, as regards the Let's Play. Um, just kind of been working on my base. Um, I am recording at the moment a new custom map. It won't be going live, I don't think, at all this month. But that is on 1.5 and it will stay on 1.5 because that was what the uh, map was designed for. And also with the changes to healing and stuff, I don't believe that it's properly balanced for 1.6 so it's going to be on 1.5 um, I have started recording it I'm a pretty good way into it it is a complete the monument map and I think you guys will like it so I'm not going to reveal any more information than that um, but a thing that I can reveal some more information on is hunt for the ender dragon so hunt for the ender dragon will be continuing and that will remain on 1.5 as well um, I'm probably going to be trying to wrap that up maybe this month, um, put some time into doing that. I've done a bit of off-camera work there, mainly now it's just a case of getting down to the nether um, and doing a couple of other things relating to that, finding the enderman. I've got the food situation sorted. I do need to build some gear yet though and get the experience needed for some nice gear. But other than that, really, there's not too much of a problem there. That's going to be coming up soon. Um, the siege, you may notice that I did post a seed last week. That is not necessarily becoming a consistent thing. I'm going to scrap the whole seasons idea because I just don't do them often enough. Um, I tend to just kind of do them on the fly, really. So don't expect any sort of format for seeds. Uh, it's just going to be a general series now. There's going to be no season 5 or season 4 or anything like that. It's just going to be one collective term now. So... 
with that done, um, there is also the snapshots and updates. They're going to be coming out whenever the snapshots and updates come out, as we always do as regards those. There's not much I can really say on that, but I'm looking forward to the 1.6.2 update. Plenty of bug fixes I'm seeing on Mojira, and also the upcoming 1.7 update. Um, I'm hoping that in my various different worlds we can go to 1.7 heaven. Uh, <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but there's not a whole lot more to say. So that's kind of all the updates I can give on my various different shows. I don't think there's anything I've missed out. Uh, I did say a while ago that I'm going to be doing a Feed the Bee series. That is still the plan, but that will not be until I get my new PC sorted, which I'm going to uh, explain. Yes, I, I know, Alfred. It's exciting, isn't it? Um, I'm going to be working on talking to you guys about that in a minute. So... The first thing I need to mention is the map, the map I am making, Global Nightmare. You've seen a preview of it if you watch my Jungle Terror developer commentary. Uh, progress has been slow, I'm not going to lie, I don't have the desire right now to continue working on that. I'm much more interested in recording tutorials and just recording things in general than doing all that stuff. I do so much off camera work now. Um, I just, I don't really find the time or the desire to actually work on that. So I am debating in my own mind whether to cease development for now um, and maybe come back to it a little later, uh, maybe when I've got some tutorials and stuff done. I don't know. I may scrap it altogether. I haven't really made my mind up on that one. It's kind of something which I have... I've promised release dates and it's going to be coming out in the summer. That looks unlikely. I need to revamp certain areas. There are certain things that need um, 1.6 compatibility installing and it seems like a whole lot of effort to be honest. And I'm not sure if that's really what I want to be spending my time on at this moment in time. So I apologise to those of you who are looking forward to that. I will think a bit more about that and maybe I'll give another update next month and see where I'm at as regards that. Um, but yeah, that's the map update. Uh, finally, uh, I've got an, an update on the new PC situation. Those of you who follow my Twitter will know that I've kind of sort of reached a halt with that. But I have found a desk, um, which I really like. And I'm hoping to get that dealt with by the end of the month. Um, and then at that point, I will have that all set up so that we can start looking at some other things like Feed the Beast is going to be much more doable. Um, streaming is something that I may look into. And things along those lines, uh, other games, definitely I've been looking across the internet, some other games. Um, and I'm not going to reveal those, but they're pretty well-known titles, I have to say, along with some that are lesser well-known. So I'm hoping to get, once my new PC sorted, get a couple of other games, and then we will be able to, at that point, enjoy some other things. And I'm hoping that maybe I will be able to uh, start recording with a few friends every now and then. Um, on some of these new games and in Minecraft as well uh, to do some multiplayer stuff because we haven't had proper multiplayer I don't think ever on my channel I know we had the Lividius Gaming series but that was me in single player uh, well that was me in multiplayer but I wasn't actually recording with anyone um, so it did feel a bit like single player um, single player on edge is how I will put that so we'll have to see on that one again uh, I do have some plans I need to contact some people I don't find it as easy now to contact people uh, because I've moved on um, I'm not uh, I can't contact them as easily anymore uh, so that's kind of that really there's not a whole lot more to mention as regards that um, as I say um, if there's anything major it will probably come up uh, when I'm talking about it, usually a Mr. Unfretwell plays Minecraft, or if it's a real important thing, I'll probably do a video on it, or wait until the next channel update. And I'm thinking of making this monthly. Uh, I tried doing it before, weekly, uh, and there's just not enough that goes on in a week to explain into a proper video. Whereas I think that this one is, it gives me more to talk about. I can give you updates on the various different situations and stuff. Um, I can talk about map updates um, and all that kind of jazz in kind of one video so that's been something that I've really wanted to try and, and do for a while now and I think that I've made a good job of it today um, so if you have any questions ab about anything that I spoke about today then please put them in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer I don't think I've missed everything uh, anything should I say so I think I'm gonna head out of here now guys uh, me and Alfred have a date 
um, at a fancy cafe somewhere. It's no more than that. We are, um, we're just friends. That's it. <laughs> He's been wanting to take me out for weeks, and I haven't actually had an opportunity to be on this world, uh, basically, for a, for a long time now. So me and Alfred have got to uh, head out and have a uh, a male dinner. <laughs> Um, but there's not a whole lot more to say there. Um, so yeah, um, that sounded wrong, didn't it? It just sounded so wrong. Um, before we head out of here, I have to try and figure a way of, of putting that right. Um, we're, we're two mates going out in the town. That, that's, that's what we're going to do. Ain't that right, Alfred? Get down from there, seriously. Um, it's been, he's it's get, it's getting all, uh, or grumpy now because I haven't been here in a long time and I haven't spoke to him uh, for a long long time um, the last time I was here was obviously uh, for the oh yeah that reminds me actually last time I was here I did the co-star tribute one thing I do want to say is a big thank you to everybody who took part in that um, and watched that video uh, co-star actually did see it and he liked it which is um, fantastic so Thank you to everybody who's watched that video. The feedback was amazing. It was really nice to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, it was a, a nice way, I think, to uh, say goodbye to Ko. Um, and I wish him, as I say, the look for his future endeavours. And I think that was uh, something which was generally well received. So I'm really happy about that. So I thank you all of you guys personally, even if you don't, don't or didn't watch Ko, that you were respectful of, of that video and there were so many positive things um, that were said about it so I'm really happy with that um, again um, that was something which I felt was important to me that I actually say and, and get out there and Ko was actually saw it so I'm really happy that he saw that and hopefully I managed to bring a smile to his face after all the smiles he brought to mine through his, his Ko's Quest Let's Play so yep that's going to be about it now guys, I'm going to head out of here, the sun is rising, I've got a day of work to do, and I will probably see you in something else, so until then guys, see you later, and have a good day.